Hello, uh, today I have remade a video of mine um, of how to crack uh, WEP keys. Um, I recorded this, um, edited, took out some code, added some new. Um, the video I made is uncut, six minutes. Um, so let's get started. First, open up terminal. There may be some programs you need before, but it'll tell you if you need that. Um, get admin privileges by typing sudo dash i. Now start airmon, uh, airmon stop wlan zero or whatever your interface is. You can find out what your interface is by just typing in airmon dash ng. Now if config wlan zero down, this step is optional. Uh, you can change your Mac. I'm doing it just so it's easy to remember what I'm doing. Um, make sure to disconnect from the internet before doing any of this, or else it will be really slow and may not work at all. So, if you have stopped and started your w, um, your wireless LAN, you may have monitor mode. You cannot change the uh, Mac of monitor mode. So, type in airmon um, start WLAN 0. I'm going to be using mon now since that is a lot faster for most devices if that feature is available, available for yours. So, arrow dump dash ng for mon 0. Find the network you're going to ha um, crack. I'm using ji323 which as you can see is web and has 54 or 64 bit encryption so now arrow dump dash ng dash w um, whatever this is going to be the file that you're going to use so just type in whatever there dash c channel so now find out your channel um, it defaults to um, 11 if it if the channel is different than 11 then you have to do airmon dash ng start channel number um, then your interface in my case mon zero so then arrow dump, dash w, whatever the file, like I said before, dash c, which is the channel, dash i is the interface you're going to use, then bssid is what you got from the network you're going to be cracking, hit enter, and now arrow dump will start um, sniffing and capturing all the packets, open a new tab, sudo dash i again for admin rights. Um, type in error replay, the command here. Um, what this will basically do is open up the system to start allowing packets to start coming to you. You will not have internet access at this time, but it will allow you to receive packets from it. So that's the BSSID of the network we're hacking. That's the one I have. BSSID is also the MAC address. And then your interface. Make sure you get authentication successful and disassociation um, successful. If you do that, the authentication should be open. OPN. So now just hit uh, hit the up arrow. Uh, change those two values that I'm changing here. Press enter. And now you should be getting hundreds of packets a second. The reason you're losing so many is because I don't actually have that great of a connection to this network. So I'm losing a lot, but it's still a good ratio. And uh, now we start up air crack which will start cracking the key from the packets we've received. This is a passive crack, not an active, so the network shouldn't really detect that we're cracking it. It should only be sending us information, that's it. Um, I've done this on my own network. Um, antivirus does not freak out on this, so they have a low chance of figure th figuring this is happening. Then again, but I'm not responsible for what you do with this. So air crack right there is the encryption. The 64 is your encryption type, mine 64. That is the name of the file you chose. Uh, usually it's renamed to dash zero one. If you put star, it'll find all files with that name and then anything after it. Choose your network. And it'll start um, cracking. If it fails, it'll wait for another for the next 5,000 um, IVs, which is the IVs are equal to the data. So yeah, and it'll start cracking. It usually takes between 10,000 to 20,000 for a successful crack. So as you can see, I failed right now. It's going to wait for 5,000. So now we just wait here. As I said before, I'm not responsible for anything you do with this. Um, you can get in a lot of trouble for doing this. This is for educational purposes. Um, and maybe you got locked out of your network and you're trying to hack it, so it could be useful for that too.
So now we're at 3,500. Like I said, it took me about six minutes to do. It can take you a little longer depending on your connection. It can be faster, it can be slower. Oh, by the way, I am running Ubuntu 9.1. This should work with any of the Ubuntus if you have aircrack-ng installed. To install anything, just type in apt, which is apt, dash get, um, install, then whatever the program is. In this case, it's aircrack-ng um, and MacChanger. So the data is right at 5,000 right now. So we'll go back to the window. And the key is found already. So the key is everything like that except without the colons. So hope you enjoyed this. Um, the video that I have shot, I'm voice narrating it right now. So I basically watched it. Sorry if anything was out of sync here. Um, video was uncut. I did not edit any part of it. I only changed it, um, changed encoding and stuff, so this is legitimately under 10 minutes. Um, that's all. Hope this helps with anything you're doing. Um, have fun.